What's up, coaches? How are y'all doing this fine Monday afternoon? Uh, do you struggle throwing the ball and passing and attacking defenses through the air? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over a simple way you can do that without using a multitude of tags, and that is what a lot of coaches go to. Now, first, who am I? Well, I am Coach Ron Mackey, and I help coaches simplify their offense so they can score more points, have more fun, and win more games. Uh, and I promise you, in every single episode of this, you can take one thing away from it that you can implement right now to get an advantage over your opponent. And then today I'm going to talk about a nice little drill that you can use in practice that will help your passing attack so that you do not have to use tags. That is one thing that a lot of people do. Um, they want to simplify, they simplify, and then all of a sudden they add a thousand tags to their playbook. And that expands the playbook and makes things very, very, very difficult. So let's just dive into this it's a very simple drill it's a combination of the quick uh, routes on air and what we're going to do up oh, gotta love going live hold on fellas the computer does this uh what we're going to do is we're going to use a routes on air type drill and we're going to have someone to trigger the quarterback for instance let's use we got stick over here let's say we got stick and then we got stick to the other side. So we got stick on both sides. All right, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna have three quarterbacks. Now, it, you, if you don't have three quarterbacks, you can have two, yeah, hopefully you have two. Two quarterbacks and a manager, two quarterbacks and a backup running back, two quarterbacks and a wide receiver, doesn't matter. But what we do is, let's say this is stick, we would also put a cone out here. And the reason why we would put a cone out there is because this guy right here has to vertical release, all right? That's what we're going to do. So we would have one guy. Actually, I shouldn't do that. We only need two. One guy is going to throw this. The next guy is going to play the game of stick, and we have a coach out here. So if this coach flies this way, then this quarterback is going to throw it. If this court, uh, coach stays, then we are going to throw it out here. So that's the first thing. Then we flip over, and we do the same exact thing on this side. Vert. We play stick right here. So one guy, if this guy threw the stick, and I mean the vert, and this guy throws the stick, then over here this guy is going to throw this vert, and then this guy is going to play the game right here, and then we would flop them. So we are getting multiple reps over and over and over again. Now what does this do? Well, what this does is this makes your quarterback make decisions. He has to, okay, can I throw that uh, – Vert, yes, one step, put it out there. No, then I'm going to play the game off of that guy. If he goes out, I throw in. If he stays in, I throw out. And you have to rep it over and over again so that he knows what he's doing. This lets him feel comfortable in that pass so that you as the coach doesn't have to add a tag to this play or create a brand new play every single week. You're just getting the reps over and over and over again. And you can do this drill with all your quick game, you can do it with corner, you can do it with a uh, flat out, you can do it with double slants, you can do it with flat curl, whatever it is you do, just give your quarterback someone that sit there and read and make a decision. That's another thing. Don't hedge and then come back and try to trick them. Make a definitive decision and make him make his read off of you. And that is the easiest way you can do it so you don't have to add a thousand tags and expand your playbook. All right. So I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you watched the game the other day and watched LSU get uh, beat by Mike Leach in the air raid. And until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun. I will see you later.